difference in terminology, Anthony, between outsourcing and offshoring, or is it just interchangeable? Well, it is interesting because some people have experience with one, the other, or both. Because you could say, well, you know, like for you and I, we live in Brisbane and we outsource our marketing to a a marketing agency or an accounting firm that does our accounting or marketing with us. And that technically is outsourcing. It's not being done inside your org chart. So that is outsourcing. Yep. And so in terms of offshoring, because people may use that, is that simply that the staff are not in in Australia, so to speak? Is that the easiest way around it? Yeah, so that's that's why we we have offshoring as a bit of a secondary label when we explain it as well, because we say clearly we are going to outsource that away from your traditional business and we're going to offshore it. But then it gets a bit, not not tricky, but the reality is, is for us anyway, our focus is making sure again that these, you know, the staff that we find, whether it's one, two, three, five, twenty, a hundred staff, whatever your organization, the client's organization needs, they are going to be employed by us, sure, but they're yeah. going to sit inside the client's businesses, their org chart, their accountability chart, you know, attend the weekly meetings, attend the huddles, etc.